Welcome to the Blushing Show. I'm Otis Ranger. Music today is going to feature the sounds of Leslie Becker's newest single called Boy Toy. And speaking of toys, technology today is going to feature the unboxing of my newest toy, the Lumo Lift. We'll also be talking about the Lumo platform. Stay tuned for more. Self-motivation can be a runner's greatest asset, but self-evaluation can be our greatest challenge. You could pay a lab or a coach to evaluate your performance, but what about when you train by yourself? Introducing Lumo Run, a revolutionary motion sensor that collects data like a lab and provides motivation like a coach, all while you run. And it fits in the waistband of your shorts. Lumo Run analyzes running biomechanics from your core, then suggests adjustments to your form that help maximize your true potential while also avoiding injury. No goggles, no wristbands, no wires, just your desire to be great so you can not only meet your goals, but exceed them. Lumo Run, for those who want to run faster, farther, forever. Trick or treat! Sexy cat. I love Halloween so much. Whoa. I love Halloween so much. I love Halloween so much. I love Halloween so much. You still owe rent, dude. Really took the wind out of my sails. Hey everyone, you might not know this about me, but I blush really easily, and I always have. In fact, some friends of mine used to like to play a little game with me that went something like this. Hey, Talia. Yeah? You're blushing. Wait, no I'm not. Yeah, look, your face is turning red, ha 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 Well, now I am. Darwin called blushing the most peculiar and most human of all expressions, because interestingly, it's a phenomenon completely unique to human beings. Scientists have some idea of why it happens that it's triggered by some sort of emotional stress, such as embarrassment, which causes adrenaline to be released into the body, which causes blood vessels to dilate, which causes your blood flow to increase. But as to why the facial veins react so intensely and so exclusively, they're still not really sure why. But if you're like me and you blush deeply and often, what can you do about it? I found a great answer in this book, Man's Search for Meaning. It's a classic written by Viktor Frankl, who was a Holocaust survivor who then went on to become a psychiatrist. Dr. Frankl writes in his book that a problem like excessive blushing can be solved through a method called paradoxical intention. He tells the story of a boy with a stutter who, when he tried to exaggerate it in order to gain sympathy from people, found that he couldn't stutter at all. So when you feel yourself start turning red, instead of freaking out, which will just cause you to turn an even deeper shade, go for it. Invite it. Try to blush as deeply as you can. Say, I'm gonna show these people just how red I can get all up in here. Hey, it's Leslie Becker, and you are listening to Otis Ranger on Pop Song Tech. Confidential, confidential. Meeting on that corner where nobody can see. Heating up that moonlight and I'm making no apologies. Sometimes just being bad feels a little good. So show me what you got and I'll knock, knock, knock on wood. Let's, let's, let's get confidential. Let's, let's, let's get confidential. I can make you mine. My frisky fears is no one's business but mine. So let's, let's. Wait to miss. 
Coming out of a great single from Leslie Becker, that song is called Confidential. It came out earlier this year. And greetings, my friends. I am Otis Ranger, and I want to thank you sincerely for uh, passing along this show to friends, family, colleagues, pets. Uh, We've mentioned in past shows that we like parrots. Uh, We also like uh, guinea pigs. And uh, today we like, in particular, fish. And fish in particular because, you know, sound travels so well in water. And that is our non sequitur for the day. So I uh, want to also invite you to uh, give us five stars if you happen to be on iTunes. Uh, really appreciate those that have done so already. And we've got a great show for you. Today we're featuring the music of Leslie Becker and her brand new single called Boy Toy. Uh, it is part of a uh, an upcoming EP that's going to be released later this year. And I'm excited to share with you that we're going to be having an interview later this year uh, with Leslie Becker again on Pop Song Tech uh, as she releases her newest EP. Uh, We're going to be talking a little bit more about Boy Toy here in just a minute. And then on the other side of that, we're going to be opening up a new toy for me. A boy, and that toy is the Lumo Lift. Uh, We've mentioned this uh, in the context of wearables uh, on earlier episodes of uh, Pop Song Tech, but I'm proud to say that it arrived in the mail, and I got it right here, just waiting to be opened. Uh, We're going to be talking about the Lumo Lift, a great device uh, that you can use to uh, uh, keep yourself from slouching and for better posture. And, uh, you know, this is the second unboxing that we've done on Pop Song Tech. Uh, previously we, uh, unboxed, uh, the, uh, Amazon echo. And, uh, so, you know, I've got, uh, Alexa standing by here, uh, as well. Uh, Alexa, what is the definition of slouch? Slouch has several distinct meanings as a verb. One, assume a drooping posture or carriage Two, walk slovenly. And as a noun, one, an incompetent person usually used in negative constructions Two. A stooping carriage and standing and walking. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alexa. And uh, so we are going to be unboxing this uh, Lumo Lift here, talking about uh, ways that we can correct posture and prevent slouching now that we know what the definition of slouching is. And, uh, oh, oh, uh, Alexa, since this is a uh, podcast, could you tell us a joke? Mm-hmm. Alexa, could you tell us a joke? Why did the banker quit his job? He lost interest. <laughs> yes, cornball. Cornball. Cornball uh, jokes right there. So this is Pop Song Tech, and I am just off the road, man. I, I was just, just out in Pennsylvania for the day. Uh, I'm back in my man cave in northern Jersey now, and, uh, you know, it's been a weekend of uh, toddler and infant birthdays. Uh, I took my daughter to a, uh, a big birthday uh, party yesterday uh in uh northern jersey at one of these bounce safari places don't know if you've ever been but man i wish they had these things when i was a kid because they just look like so much fun and uh, we're going to share a little bit of that with you on the uh segment today pocket full of sounds uh we're going from that into uh, the new single like i mentioned before called boy toy from leslie becker we'll talk about her upcoming ep as well as the uh, world premiere of a new broadway show that she's been working on right and uh that will 
will be coming up in 2017. So we've got a little bit of intel that we're going to share with you on that today. And uh, getting us into that, though, we're going to uh, take a look here. I'm going to I'm pulling out my iPhone here uh, for our segment uh, that uh, I share with you audio clips. This is called called. Called what, what the heck was that? This is called <laughs> pocket full of sounds. And uh, all right, I'm bringing up, uh, seeing here what we've got. Let's see. Oh, interesting week here in New York City. It's uh, Paley Fest. And uh, Paley Fest is uh, sponsored by the uh, Paley Center uh, for Media. It used to be known as the uh, Museum of Television and Radio. They've got big offices here in New York City, uh, as well as in Los Angeles. And I believe it's twice a year that they host something they call Paley Fest, where they focus on the hottest television shows that are out. And there's an event called Paley Fest in New York City this week. And among the themes of Paley Fest this week is television shows that were made in New York. And, uh, you know, they're, uh, I, I believe on Friday evening, uh, for instance, they featured Madam Secretary. Uh, Thursday evening was Trevor Noah from The Daily Show. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. Uh, Next week, they've got shows like Gotham, uh, you know, the uh, DC uh, Comics uh, spinoff there, uh, the uh, kind of the spinoff associated with Batman. Uh, But uh, it's at Paley Fest uh, at the Paley Center uh, on 52nd Street in, uh, in Midtown Manhattan. And uh, I've gone to these things in the past because uh, I'm affiliated with the Paley Center. Uh, in the past, I've gone to see uh, the, the cast and directors and writers of uh, shows such as Orange is the New Black. Uh, I've also seen, uh, you know, Mr. Robot, which is one of my favorite shows, seeing Rami Malek uh, on stage right there next to Christian Slater and uh, the, the, the writer and creator of uh, Mr. Robot, which is one, uh, you know, the Emmys, and uh, it's just such a great show, and my goodness, uh, the Paley Center is open to uh, most people. If you'd like to uh, join them, uh, just ch- uh, just Google Paley Center. Uh, if you happen to be in New York, it's a great organization. If you're in Los Angeles, also great organization out there. And uh, as part of the pocket full of sounds today, uh, I did have a chance to go check out the uh, Trevor Noah uh, show, uh, or the... Uh, uh, the interview that they gave there. So the way that this works is, uh, you know, they have somebody uh, moderate a panel and the panel consists of actors from the shows. And so Trevor Noah was there as the main actor, of course, from The Daily Show. He took over for John Stewart over this past year and he had his uh, uh, all of his support staff there up, up, up on stage next to him. They were talking a lot about politics and comedy and really interesting stuff. And uh, I got a little bit of an audio clip here of uh, some of the cast members talking. So let me uh, pull this up and uh, see what we got. Okay, uh, we need to put up like the three people that have come down. You know, that came out last night that accused. Oh, it was actually five. Oh no, wait, it was six. (laughs) (laughs) So we're having those discussions. So you can tell it's a kind of a small theater right there. So it's a pretty intimate way of uh, getting to know more about the uh, cast involved in these shows. So we'll take the less. You know, sexual assaults over the comedy, but <laughs> we try and keep up. <laughs> we're like bumping pieces. Like, we have things that we pre-prepared that we would roll out, and like, those things are... That you have to track. We're like an idiot. Is there a lot of, is there a volume of material that ends up on the cutting room? I believe it was Alex Wagner who was moderating this panel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, to all the correspondents, I would ask... There is this refrain that seems to be happening um, that has happened really throughout the year, which is that America needs The Daily Show. And, and I'm sure being on The Daily Show, that feels good, but I also wonder what you think that says about the state of American news media, that people feel like, the public feels like, we need The Daily Show. Yeah, they got kind of serious here uh, at this Thank event. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I think there is... There's a lot. There's pressure to that. There's there's something that is uh, humbling about that that idea. I think uh, the Daily Show is cathartic. I think we see something that a lot of us uh, are confused by, frustrated by, angered by, and you want to uh, you want to watch something that confirms the feelings that you have. Um, I think that does put a lot of pressure on us to to attempt to reflect that. Uh, but I also think. What we are seeing on a daily basis, and Donald Trump's calling it out in an extreme measure, but there, there is a, uh, people are looking at their, their news sources and their media in a very different way now. And now suddenly the New York Times, if you watched Donald Trump's uh, talk today, he spent 10 minutes just trashing how biased the Times is. And then you're hearing, oh, maybe I shouldn't trust this. And then the people on the other side are like, well, I shouldn't trust Fox News and all these things. 